Well, there are bats in here. Hello everyone, James from Junkyard Box. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a flashlight. Now I'm a big advocate on illumination, whether carrying something on you every day or having something in your vehicle, in your pack, at home, all that. Now, maybe you've noticed, but we don't really review a lot of flashlights in this channel. To be perfectly honest, I don't care for the latest and greatest flashlight every other week. Um, what I have works for me, and I have reviewed a few flashlights that I very much recommend, uh, and I'm not gonna be reviewing whatever comes my way. Um, however, I will review a new one if it stands apart from the past ones, if it adds something more. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the Olight Warrior M2R. And this is a really great flashlight, very hand, very well made, very innovative. And that's something that I'm really focusing on when it comes to electronics is some innovation, something new. And we're gonna be testing this out today. We're gonna elaborate on the modes and then we're gonna explore a cave with it as well. And then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. So thank you for joining me. Let's get started. Now, right off the bat, this is not a budget-friendly flashlight. This is not a wow tech or anything like that. This one runs you about $100, but you get what you pay for. So if you're looking for something more budget-friendly, try, try a, a wow tech flashlight, something like that. But if your profession deals with being outside in the darkness for long periods of time, in a graveyard shift, a security guard, law enforcement, military, then you might want to go for something like this. You know, you may be enticed for something. Now, this is rechargeable. That's something I really like with electronics. Um, now there's a lot of plenty of flashlights that do that. However, this one's a little bit innovative in the fact that the tail cap is magnetic. And this is the charging port that it comes with. And you set this to charge on your personal, your portable charger, you know, on your wall outlet. And that's really cool because being a magnet, it's not as bad, uh, it doesn't require as much maintenance as, as a little charging port that might get dirty with dust and stuff like that. And where I live, there's just a lot of wind, a lot of sand, so that really helps me out. So this, uh, this comes with, once again, its charging port. It also comes with a sheath, a very good quality nylon sheath that will fit it in here. And that's one thing about these larger sized flashlights that I don't like. They're too large to be carrying in your pocket. They're just too bulky. They're gonna be swinging around. So I like to have a sheath that goes on your belt. And this one feels pretty good. It feels pretty better quality than what you normally get in a flashlight or a multi-tool. So it's pretty nice, pretty decent. Alright guys, so night is quickly approaching and I want to test out the flashlight in this cave. It could be an old tin mine from the area. I have not been able to find any you know, information on it. I've tried to research it before. It's bound to be known because we're not that far off from this city. But anyway, yeah, I want to make this a little bit more interesting. So we're going to go in here and explore. We'll test out the different light modes in there and see how far this goes. So let's get to it. Whoa, watch out, there are bats in here. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Ah, uh, see them. <laughs> All right, folks, so we may have made our way into the entrance of the cave and we were greeted by bats. So that was interesting. Uh, so now let's begin talking about the different modes of this flashlight. Now it functions two different ways. The main one is a more tactical approach and that is the tail cap. That is gonna per turn on the brightest setting which is 1,500 lumens. So one quick click. That is extremely bright. Okay, now that one's going to be oh, 1,500 lumens, and that lasts for about three minutes, and after that it's going to go down to about 700 lumens. Okay, now its other tactical form is if you go down here, now there's a second button right here on the, towards the front, and that's a small rubber button, and that was more for your e EDC modes. We'll test those out in a bit, but going back once again to the tail cap, if you press this, press, press the tail cap button down, and then press this button, you'll get strobe. So it's automatically saved. 
you know, in case an attacker's coming, a, a wild animal, anything like that, that'll help you out. And then you press down the rubber button again, and it goes back to the highest setting, 1,500 lumens. Now, once again, those 1,000, the highest setting is only going to be for a few minutes, about three to five minutes, and then it's going to drop down to 700 lumens, and the flashlight is getting hot now. So just letting you guys know it starts, starts to heat up. Now let's go ahead and move on towards the more everyday carry, you know, the more normal lumens that you're going to be using. Okay, so once again, this is the highest lumens, 1,500. Now let's go ahead and click that tail switch to close it off. Okay, now moving on up here towards the button. I know that's bad lighting, but up here where my thumb is, there's a small rubber button, and that's for your mainly your, your EDC style lumens. So click it, click down and hold it once. Now normally there's supposed to be a one lumen setting and that'll last you 25 days. That is not functioning right now. There's some mal malfunction. It was just working before recording and now it's not getting there. So that's odd. But anyways, that's called level six. Now we're in level five, which is 15 lumens and that'll last you uh, about 70 hours. So that's not too bad. It's not the brightest setting, but you know, somewhere like this, that's gonna be a godsend if you find yourself in very low lighting. Then just hold it down for one second and it'll move you up to 60 lumens and that's 20 hours right here. So that's a little bit better that you're, you're approaching more towards like the, your EDC flashlight, uh, things you carry in your keychain kind of thing. Okay, now let's move up to level three, 250 lumens. This is definitely more of a EDC mode right here. Here's something like my Thrunite Archer 183. Is, this is how powerful it is. And then let's move on to level two. I'm sorry, for the 250 lumens, it will last you 6.25 hours. And then level two, which is the strongest setting in the in up here, that's going to be 700 lumens, and that'll last you two hours. again just switching through the cycles 15 lumens how about we just turn it off so we're about a quarter mile into a cave and there's absolute darkness in here oh man that's unsettling it's so humid in here falling here.
looks like we hit the end. We hit the end of the trail. It just dead ends. Uh, little burrows for animals. <sighs> All right, so we're at the end, guys. It really kind of just abruptly ended, so I'm actually thinking that it was a, a mine at some point. <sighs> but, um... It's really hot in here. Um, I'm really sweaty. There's a lot of mosquitoes. There's the occasional bat or toad. So that's pretty interesting. That's something new. And uh, we're gonna start making our way back. So, so far the flashlight is holding on pretty good. So let's get to it. Whoa, whoa. Fuck, get away. <laughs> whoa. Get annoyed again. <sighs> All right, let's get out of here. was a sweaty adventure but uh first time in junkyard fox that we explore a cave so that was pretty cool all right guys so final thoughts on the olight warrior m2r i very much enjoy this flashlight i've been testing it for about three months carrying it every day and i very much enjoy it you can feel the fit and finish the quality is there above all the other flashlights that i own at least that i own um very handsome light and I like the fact that it's able to go up to 1,500 lumens. That's very good. That's a very strong light for something for a, such a small package. Now, I also like the fact that it's rechargeable because as I'm leaning towards everyday carry electronic items, I like rechargeable. You get your money's worth in the long run. Um, maybe not so good for a bug out bag or something like that. But once again, for EDC, that's really good. Now, it's not above its flaws, guys. There are some issues that I wish could be you know improved upon in the future um the modes i believe it's seven modes in total i find it very confusing at times and not only just tonight in the cave but in the last couple months there's times where i just end up fidgeting with it a lot because you know you're trying to get to that mode you want and since it's aimed not only to be an everyday flashlight but something a little bit more self-defense mode you don't want to be fidgeting with it when there's a charging dog coming at you or something like that the, the adrenaline their confusion you're not gonna i just you're asking for trouble there. So I just wish uh, I congratulate Olight for their ambition for trying to you know change some stuff up. But overall, you want something a little bit more easier, more user friendly. Okay. Other than that, guys, um, I also once again going back to the fact that it's supposed to be self defense. I wish the ends of the bezel were a little bit more aggressive in case you do have to use it as a weapon. So those things can be improved upon. Other than that, I very much enjoy this flashlight. I enjoy the fact, once again, that it's rechargeable and it's extremely strong. And I like the pouch as well. I like the sheath because that's something that I find very lacking in flashlights. They tend to be a little cheap. But overall, once again, it's pretty good. Not perfect. But I want to thank Olight for sending this to me and their patience because it did take me a couple of months to get around to testing it. I'm sorry, reviewing it. But that's about it, guys. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Comment below if you have this flashlight and what do you think about it. And also, guys, uh, be sure to go ahead and click the no notification bell next to the subscribe button so you guys are updated when we have new videos up. Because a lot of people complain that, you know, we they haven't seen our videos in months and we've been pretty active. So go ahead and uh, take care of that if you haven't yet. And that's about it, guys. So mosquitoes and bugs are all around us right now. So we're going to get on, go on and get out of here. So we'll see you guys next week with another video.
Now go outside and get your boots dirty. Thank you.